Okay, so I'm pretty sure that most, if not all of you, have seen the uh, video made by John Tron about the whole Dan, o Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull Vodka. It's a pretty old video. I think it's a couple years old. Maybe maybe a year old, maybe a couple years old. I don't know. But it's a really funny video. And uh, in the video, uh, he basically just picks on how... Uh, you know how how goofy Dan Aykroyd's presentation of the vodka is. He picks on he picks on you know the product itself a little bit. It, it was fun. Uh, at one point in the review, he's like, "Oh, you know the 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 drink itself is actually pretty good," but uh, just for shits and giggles, you know, I have a little bit of extra spending money this week, so I headed over to Johnson City Liquor and Wine and I picked up this. I picked up the. Crystal Head. I always say Crystal Skull. It's Crystal Head Vodka, but I call it Crystal Skull Vodka because that's what it is. It's a skull. Um, so on the side, right, it says Double Gold Medal, San Francisco World Spirits Competition, Gold Medal for Excellent Taste, uh, Prod Expo, Moscow, Russia, Best Luxury Spirit, Australian Liquor Industry Awards. And then it goes on to say the following Crystal Head original uses the highest quality and pristine water of newfoundland canada to craft an additive free vodka absolutely nothing is added to enhance or mask the taste crystal head original is quadruple distilled and filtered seven times seven well i said five that, that, that was five never mind fuck i'm stupid uh, <laughs> Uh, the detailed integrity of the skull-shaped bottle was proudly designed with a pure spirit in mind. Together, Dan Aykroyd and renowned artist John Alexander sought to craft a vessel worthy of a multi-award winning ultra-premium vodka. A unique achievement of creativity, craftsmanship, purity, and quality. Crystal Head Vodka. So, I am going to be trying this vodka because uh, I looked up if it's better to be had like chilled or room temperature if you're just take, taking a straight shot of it like i am there we go if you're just taking a straight shot of it like i'm gonna be doing then uh you can just drink it room temperature but uh i read that if you're gonna be using it for certain mixed drink that it's mixed drinks that it's better to serve it chilled but i'm just gonna be drinking it straight so anyway here's the bottle um it does indeed resemble a human skull uh you've got the uh, let's see oh uh, that's got a little sticker there. It says, Distilled from grain imported by Infinium Spirits Incorporated. Also, oh, no, the rest of that's in Spanish. Produced in Newfoundland, Canada for Globe Fill and... Okay, just, it doesn't matter. Uh, Crystal Head Vodka, 750 milliliter, product of Canada, 40% alcohol. Surgeon General Warning, typical shit. Okay. So it's got a little bit of plastic on the cap, which I can probably just take off with my fingers. But if not, I got a switchblade. But it's coming off. I don't. I don't. I don't need my switchblade. It was really easy to take off. I'm just gonna put that in the box for now. Okie doke. Let's pop the cork and uh, let's get a let's get a scent. How it smells. Ooh, that made a little. I don't know if that picked up. Let's have a smell. my god so right off the bat oh boy I might have trouble with this <laughs> it smells like um, it smells like straight up isopropyl that's what it smells like it smells like isopropyl alcohol but any a lot of plain vodkas generally have that smell but this this more than any other vodka that I've smelled in the past smells just straight up like isopropyl Okay, that's good. That's plenty. Set that down. Put the cork back on. There we go. Okay. So here's my little little shot glass that I'm going to be using. Shut up, phone. And uh, cheers. That's actually really, really good. Kicks like a mule. Ooh, man. Mm. So, yeah, um, it definitely kicks. You know, you can feel it going down. Uh, I've actually had a lot of um, higher alcohol content uh, beverages 
that don't kick, uh, that don't kick and and burn as much going down as this does. But um, no joke, uh, you know, all jokes aside, all memes aside, the the flavor of this vodka is actually really good. Um, comparing, I, I would definitely put it, you know, on the same level as Grey Goose, which is Grey Goose is my favorite vodka. Grey Goose has always been my favorite vodka. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, I, I like Tito's as well. Tito's is okay. I don't think it's as good as Grey Goose. Um, I've had Sky. Sky's okay. Um, but I, I'd say just as far as pure, just pleasure to drink, I'd I'd say Crystal Skull Vodka is the best slightly, just a bit above Grey Goose. I'd, I'd either put it on, on par with Grey Goose or a little above Grey Goose, but it's really good. Um, but yeah, it does definitely kick going down. You're going to feel it. You're definitely going to feel it. Um, it's 40%. So, you know, make of that what you will. Uh, so one thing that Dan Aykroyd, you know, of his silly alien fucking ghost bullshit that he was talking about, uh, all, all that aside, he did bring up one point of uh, the vodka is really good to make with mixed drinks and I, I definitely believe that i'll de definitely try making some mixed drinks with this because he describes it as like a blank canvas um you know using it it doesn't have it doesn't it really doesn't seem to have any um flavor additives it does taste very pure you know I, I, that's kind of a shitty vague description but that's the best way i can describe it um so i think this would be really good for using uh with a mixed drink but yeah that is my official first impression thoughts of Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Head, or Crystal Skull is what I call it, but Crystal Head Vodka.